How do you find the will to fight back against a world that wants to keep you sedated, sedated average, and stuck in place? Join us for the tools and strategies you need to create a life of abundance, discipline, and high achievement. This, this, is, this is the Tactical Empire with Jeff Smith. Welcome to another edition of the Tactical Empire. Uh, We're here. It's another Monday recording sesh with Sean. How are you, man? Dude, don't even ask me. You were texting me yesterday. You don't want me to go off. Come on, come on. That that entrepreneurial life. I had uh, handled some shit yesterday, Jeff. Good. But no, it's good, man. I handled some shit. It's just some entrepreneurial stuff. Came home. My wife knew what I was handling. And I open the garage door to both my kids standing there waiting to give me a big old hug. So that's, uh, you if, if you don't have a support system <laughs> as an entrepreneur, I mean, I don't know how you're, you, you, I don't know how you're going to make it, man. Cause my wife and kids are, are the, the rock, the foundation, the roots to everything yeah. that I can build. So it was awesome. That's a really good point. It's, it's definitely difficult if you don't for sure. Yes, sir. So. Yes, sir. And we got, you know, we obviously have our, our group, the Tactical Empire, the inner circle is our men's mastermind group, dude. And, and, you know, I've been getting this question, just had a, a Facebook DM saying, Hey, I he- heard of you from, from this person. I'd love to get on and, and chat about the system that you have going on. And, and, and so, you know, i sent my booking link. The person's going to book a consultation, but like the system is the, the group, like this, the, the system is what we teach within the group, but the group is the, the thing, right? Like the group is where like-minded men are coming together. And so, you know, for the people out there, men and women, of course, like we, we have our free group and we put out content there, but like, you know, someone's listening to us and they still don't understand what the tactical empire is. So let's just take some time today and this will be a good podcast to drop to the public, but it's also going to be a good podcast uh, selfishly for us to send to people when they ask us what the heck it is. So what are we doing, Jeff? Like, what is the tactical empire? What is this red circle with the awesome font? Like, what is this damn thing? Well, I think, I think ultimately at the end of the day, what, what human beings desire more than anything is like freedom and autonomy. And, uh, and, and I think that ultimately reverse engineering the lifestyle that you desire and getting crystal clear on that stuff is, is super important to kind of reach that version of whatever anyone refers to as like fulfillment. Right. Mm -hmm. And so what we've done is I, I, we wanted to put together a community of people, both male and female that were striving to like just be very deliberate and intentional with what they were creating out of their lives. And I I think we have a lot of experience uh, coaching businesses and mentoring businesses, uh, buying real estate, doing things ourselves, and also running families and having kids and all the shit that goes along with that, that is challenging. And um, it, it, it just really became a mission of mine to kind of put together a a community or a movement of like-minded people that were interested in kind of expanding and uh, seeking to push their boundaries in kind of every area of life, if you will, uh, while generating wealth and being great. And then the inner circle, I mean, our stick for that is uh, it's a men's group. It's uh, to create better husbands, better fathers, and make a fuck ton of money. And yeah. that's the mission. Is So if you're in that group, obviously those are things that are important to you. And then off of that comes systems and products and education and things like that, that we've put together for them to allow them to set their targets on things and then seek out the, and, and also the network facilitates that as well. Um, we've, we've got kind of end to end structure with, within the interior to do real estate deals. Um, if you're looking to invest in real estate and things like that, but, um, that's kind of the high level version of it. But what we're doing is we're teaching those seven levels of financial freedom. We're we're coming up with short-term rental products. We're coming up with long-term rental products, um, just to educate and teach people, um, kind of our knowledge and experience that we already have. Yeah. And a lot of that is, you know, we, we, especially with the finances, we talk about non-traditional 
the, the system that we're implementing is non-traditional, but I would even look at what we're teaching in terms of you being the asset, the importance of your health and fitness, the importance of your marriage, you know, the, your wife comes before your kids, but it's all important in your life. Like when you look out there into the world, especially specifically in the United States, there's so much bullshit out there that like what we actually teach looks non-traditional now because it hasn't, it's not, it's no longer the norm. And ultimately what I tell people is like, look out, out into the world. And if that's, that's the average being average right now is terrible. The average person in the United States is broke. They're overworked. They're underrested. They don't have any money and they have no clue what they're doing. Like that's what the average has been. So we're creating this community. When you look at the tactical empire Empire is such a strong word, but I want to clarify that that is the macro term we're using for your micro environment, what you control. Okay. We're going to talk about what the government's doing. We're going to talk about what's happening in the world, but ultimately you're still in control of your micro empire. And what is that? That is your fitness, your family, your finances, and your freedom. Now, how are we going to do that with the first word, tactical? We're, we're not going to come in here and say, sit, do we do vision exercises? Yes. But that's, that's, that's to get you to clarify what exactly you want. After that, we reverse engineer step by step what you need to do to get there. And I'll tell you my, because I was a tactical empire client first before I came into the, the ecosystem on this end of things. What I like most about it is that we very early on tell people, if you're looking for balance, you're not going to improve because it, you're not going to find it. So reconcile that thought in your head while at the same time, when you implement the system that we have tactically to build what you want, your empire, you can become pretty damn good at every area of your life. We've all seen it. The business owner who is so freaking hard going, hustling, becomes uber successful, whatever number you want to put on that, a million dollars, $10 million, a hundred million dollars, but their marriage is shit. Their kids hate them, all this other shit. They're, they're overweight. They're obese. That's not, that's not, that's not fulfillment to me. I've known those type of people. And so what I like about the tactical empire is there are men in this group who are building wealth without sacrificing the more important things in life, which is their marriage, their relationship with their kids. And at the end of the day, they are the asset, their health, health, fitness is such a strong pillar in our community. The men are doing regular fasts. The men are waking up before the sun. Not all of them, some of them. Do you, whatever works for you, do you. I don't wake up at 4.30 in the morning anymore. I wake up at six, not to an alarm because I've done it for years, right? But the first thing I do is my morning routine and my morning routine works for me and it's a health focused morning routine. They are doing cold exposure. They are meditating. They are reading. You don't have to do all that. We're gonna figure out what's best for you. And yes, they hit the gym. And yes, they don't eat like assholes. Like, that's what I love. These are the men that I want to follow. These are the men that I want to become. I don't want to be the guy with all the money, but no marriage, no strong relationship. What did I leave this podcast with, Jeff? I had a hard fucking day yesterday and my wife knew it. She's actually the one that supported it. I told her what was going on and she said, go, go address it. And it, an hour and a half later, I came home and my kids were standing right there. If all I cared about was my businesses, and that was really hard for me to leave the house because I'm not that dude. Like you don't get me to leave my house when I, it's a it's a weekend. Like that's rare. Like that, that hasn't happened in years. But because we built such a strong family bond and system and she knew what I needed to do in that moment and she led me to go in that direction, when I came home, it was back to being a dad. Didn't miss a beat. Went right back into my daughter's room and played American Girl Dolls. We're not just saying that's the ideal life that we want. We're actually living that life first and then letting the fucking results come. We have the equation the right way.
Well, I mean, it, to be fair and fully transparent, like when you talk about foundation and things like that, I missed the mark on that personally. So I can speak to experience from right. experience uh, in the opposite end of the spectrum on that in, in kind of the way you talked about it earlier, which was building and uh, at the uh, at the detriment of everything else. Right. And yeah. and so I I had that singularity of focus for a long time because um, I, I just thought. I had done the family, I'd done the kids. I was like, well, we were doing them at the same time, right? And, right. But like, I was I didn't fortunate to where my, like, I, I had singularity of focus, but it was in my 20s before the family yep. came. If I sure. had a wife and kids, I would have, same story. It would have been the same story as you. Yeah, but what I recognized throughout the process, though, was be, it, kind of similar to what you talk about. Like, why are you doing this? You, you say you're doing it for your family, but like the reality is they're just yeah. over here being playing second fiddle to everything right. that you're doing. It primarily. So I, I think that, I mean, we can speak to that experience for sure. I can definitely. Um, and having to rebuild that foundation first, because I think that's the most important part of it. Right. But it allows you to build so much bigger. Yeah. Like, I, I think the analogy that's the best is like, if you are going to build a skyscraper, you have to drill down foundationally half, something like half as many floors as the building is going to be high mm. to set your, your foundation. And like mm. that, that's one thing I think people overlook periodically. Cause they're just like, well, money will solve this problem or whatever will solve this problem time. The next thing, the next thing. And so the inner circle is really a place for people to come in and kind of get their, get their bearings about them as far as what they want to do, but then also have the resources and support and accountability right there with them to and, and and a lot of times experience the experience is already in the room that's either ahead of you or running right next to you in mm. the same race that they're looking to do the same things and that's important and ultimately when we started the company two years ago um it, it was about creating leaders to hit on your point of what you're trying to do um we don't tell anybody what to do or what they mm. should want or anything like that the environment is built to build individual leaders who can then lead their home well and lead their children well and, and raise more leaders, right? And so like that's the ultimate purpose of it. But in the meantime, we're going to make a lot of money. We're, we're going to focus on what's important and uh, we're, we're going to make impact and change in our communities as well. So I think ultimately that's what it is. Um, I, I think, that, do you have more to say on that topic? No, no, I'm going to shift gears. So finish okay. your thought and then we're going to shift just a hair. Good. Well, I was just going to say, well, so what does that mean? What do you guys, <laughs> what, what what do you have to offer within the group is, is what I, with the question I would have then. <laughs> yeah. So once you make that shift from just being on the outside, looking at Jeff and I's social media accounts and, and the community group, it's like, Hey, I do want to be involved. I mean, the, the, the easiest thing that we have is the inner circle, which is the group, the group mentorship. You come in, we get you on our course curriculum on how to clarify what is exactly you want. And then we deduce that down to establishing, you know, your ideal schedule and the, the habit stacking that you need to get there. We teach you the seven levels of financial freedom. We're going to teach you about infinite banking, kind of get your bearing on, you know, some of the terms you're going to see and some of the things that the men are posting that they're accomplishing and, and, and putting their money into just so you're not out in left field. Um, and, and then we have weekly calls every Wednesday, 1230 Eastern, you know, we're getting on a call. And, uh, you know, we usually have some sort of topic that we're presenting on and then open Q and a at the end, we have the private Facebook group men post all the time in there early in the week. We're going to talk about your, your plan for the week, the actions that you're going to take at the end of the week, we're going to talk about your wins every day between there. Anyone can post anything, right? So we call it group mentorship, but as long as you're present in the group, you can ask whatever the hell you want, right? Over the weekend, there were like four or five posts from men asking questions about their particular situations, whether or not they're working with a coach one-on-one, -on -one. but that would be the next tier, right? Once you need personalized, customized attention, and quite honestly, if you want to move faster, 
that's where we're going to level you up into tier two, which is working one-on-one with Jeff, working one-on-one with me and any other coach that we bring on in the near future. And this is, hey, do you have the core foundational material done? Let's get that done. Now let's talk about your specific situation because we can talk about infinite banking all day long. We can talk about your businesses. We can talk about real estate. We can talk about your marriage. But until I really know how you're thinking about that, how you're talking to yourself about that, the obstacles and and, and uh, challenges that you're having personally in those situations, then I, I, I can't just help you on a, on a Facebook comment, right? Like it's every answer is going to be, well, it depends. If I was in this situation, I would view it this way. If I was in this situation, I'd view that if I wanted this outcome, I would do this. If I wanted this other outcome, I would tweak it to do this. So that's where men can level up and work one-on-one with you, uh, you or me. So Jeff, anything to add to those? No, I mean, if you're looking for fast results and you want to you want to have specific goals and targets like the coaching program is is for additional accountability and also like getting more granular on what you're trying to achieve. So if I was trying to have a massive year, I would definitely do that one as opposed to group. You still get all the access to all the group stuff. And then and, and we're now building out different products as well. And so that that's like the next iteration of what's coming. Yep. Everything that we create is going to be in there for the, the tactical empire. So, uh, we're going to have another episode specifically talking about one pretty large project that we're going to start working on this week, tomorrow morning. I'm heading out to create some content on that. Um, long story short, it's going to be, you know, a short-term rental Academy teaching you everything from A to Z on short-term rentals, how you can use less than a hundred thousand dollars to acquire a hundred thousand dollar producing property, sometimes in a town of 250 residents, right? You don't have to be in New York city to make a lot of money in the short-term rental game. So I'm excited to have a, a standalone podcast on that, but Jeff, you and I can sit here and spout our results all day long. So without using names, let's bring up some of, you know, the progress that some of the men in the group have made. So is there anyone right off the top of your head? Again, you don't have to designate who they are, but um, some men that you've worked with or seen make big strides in a short amount of time. Yeah. I mean, well, we just closed on two properties. One person just closed on two properties last week, but the, I, I would say the person that's taken the most action since they've been in the group in the last 14, 16 months, they probably went from four rentals to 36 rentals and mm-hmm. uh, now own a management company and a real estate brokerage and some other things as well. So um, they, they've they really put in some vertical integration to what they're trying to do. Um, we've seen some commercial buildings bought recently. Yep. Um, and, and so right offhand, I mean, one guy got lost 72 pounds Hell yeah. as an example. Everybody's dating their wives on a at least bi-weekly basis, which I disagree with, but hopefully <laughs> weekly. <laughs> um, so I bust the guy's balls all the time about dating their wife and planning it. And so that's like part of part of, part of what goes on because I think we're all in the same boat with regards yeah. to being busy and things like that. So yeah. Um, that that's an important aspect of what we're doing because we're trying to lead by example and we're trying to make sure that everybody's paying attention to what's important to them. So, yeah. Yeah. I like, you know, obviously it's, it's fun to say the things, you know, people went from four units to 36 units They buy commercial buildings. And by the way, some people in, in, in certain parts of our country buying a commercial building <laughs> costs less than buying a residential home where you might live. So yeah. my commercial building was expensive, but there's people in the group buying, you know, quarter of a million dollar commercial buildings. And I love that you brought up the guy that's losing 72 pounds, the men are dating their wives on a biweekly basis. They're setting time aside for their kids to have one-on-one time with their kids. All of that matters, you know, from, from, uh, the men that are working with me one-on-one, some of the, the, the low hanging fruit successes is outside of just getting clarity, right? When there's one guy in the group that I was Instagram messaging for well over a year and a half, just not knowing what direction he wanted to go, just kind of sitting on his hands. He had an idea of what he wanted, but he didn't take any action. Literally within 60 days of getting in the group, he bought his first Airbnb and it's been cash flowing on day one. He texts me basically every other day that he's getting a new booking for March is filling up. He's already got bookings for April at, at rates, ladies and gentlemen, at rates that are higher than the previous owner was getting, right? Like, so he acquired an already cash flowing asset, made it more efficient 
and he's getting more money than the previous owner, right? And he did nothing. He changed nothing. He just took ownership of the asset. What I'm really excited about is you hear that someone bought a commercial building, whether it's a quarter of a million dollars or 2.5 million. What we did was help them through the process. Like some of these guys don't know anything about financing. Some of them don't know that you can get SBA loans, right? And, and, and get less money down on those. Then they're, then they're confronted with a situation where do I get an SBA loan and buy land and build my own building? Or do I get an SBA loan and buy the building that I'm in, right? These are challenges, obstacles, questions that they have. And these men shouldn't have to work through these uh, on their own. So those are the things that I'm super, super excited about. One of the men in the group are, is going to look at two more Airbnbs today. Um, you know, those things I'm really, really excited about. The men are asking about when to refi their properties, right? These are, you know, they, they might sound like big topics to you, but they're just little actions that these men can take, but the actions are little, but the information they need to come to that conclusion, to take that action, that's like the vital part. And if you don't have a support system, if you don't have men that have gone through it, and it's not just Jeff and I, like the men in the group have been through some shit. They've taken risks, they've succeeded, they failed and learned lessons and kept moving on. So you're not just getting Jeff's answer. You're not just getting Sean's answer. You're getting a melting pot of thoughts, experiences, and actions, and then you can take your own way forward. You are empowered to make the decision that you need to make tactically to build your empire, the tactical empire. That's the purpose of the group. And that's why I get fired up on a weekly basis to see the progress that the men have made. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, there, there's so much said there. There's just to understand there's other things in, outside of real estate that people are doing. I mean, they're opening businesses. There's a franchisee in there hmm. uh, that's, that's looking for other franchisors. Um, there's, there's JV opportunities happening, joint venture, things like that. Um, the thing that come to comes to mind while you're talking about wins is like we just had somebody post over the weekend that they had had the conversation with their wife and they're ready to pick up and move and relocate their entire family to while they're area. opening a business in the town they live in <laughs> yeah and so like they've they've worked themselves in the last two years out of a out of a business that they had to do everything for into a situation where they're going to sell that particular business and then open up a self-operating business, if you will. And once that self-operating business is up and running and marketed and leased up or membered up or whatever, <laughs> um, they, they're moving on to the next big target, which is relocate their family to somewhere warmer and uh, with better politics. And mm -hmm. so, yeah. um, that, that was my biggest win over the weekend went to, was to see that because that yeah. conversation has been percolating for a while. So yeah. I really like that. Fun. I love that. I love that. That that's the financial strategy and lifestyle strategy combined, which is something that, that I talk about. Um, you know, I think the best decisions involve both of those at the same time. So I'm excited about that. The one thing I didn't touch on, but you touch on it there is like, there are men who already have, their, their business is up and running, but they're not in the best position to um, reap all the benefits of those businesses. They might have partners that they took on five years ago. And with a quick conversation from us, it's, it's time for them to buy those partners out. So like you said, there are men that are buying more equity in the businesses that they're already involved in. There are men going the opposite route just help someone one-on-one -on -one to sell their business. They're closing on the sale on like March 15th and they're moving on to the next thing, which is going to be um, active income within a family owned business separately from the business that they sold and then utilize the capital that they have to create their own bank and then buy investment properties. So they're going from working in a business that's paying them nothing, selling it, getting capital, going into active income in a family business, in the short term, at least building their bank, buying more, less active, more passive uh, real estate investments, and then figuring out like what to do, right? They're just reestablishing the foundation that we talked about 15 minutes ago. So I'm excited about all that. I'm excited about the future. The next 90 days is going to be insane, not only for the men in the group, but for the tactical empire 
as a whole. So, um, you know, today's goal was to tell people what we do, who we are, but ultimately the successes of the men in the group. So I, I don't know if I have anything else to add, Jeff, but if there's something else that you want to throw out there, go for it. And then I might chime in. If not, we'll, we'll throw it to the people. Well, I think one of the things that we described is that we're looking for optimization in all areas of life, right? So you're, you're constantly evaluating and auditing like where you're at and being honest with yourself. Like, where are we financially? Where are we with my family? Where are we fitness wise? All of those areas, right? And then, and then you're held accountable by the group, but you're also like surrounded by a amazing support system that can fill in a lot of the blanks for you. I think people miss out on their goals all the time because they think about a goal and then they reach the first level of adversity and then they quit because they're like, well, it's going to be too hard. It, like, how could I possibly get a $5 million commercial building? It doesn't make any sense to me. And so like, that's what's so great about the group and the collective is it, there's problem solvers in there. There's people that can do the workarounds. There's people that have been down that exact same road. And so like, you don't have to get stuck at step one because there's people in there willing to help you move you along. And it's not just you and I, that's what I'm saying as well to reiterate what you said, but, it, but there's collectively, we can get you to where you want to be or ask the right questions to unpack that for you. So that's Hell all yeah. I got. That's all we got today, guys. Uh, like we said, we have the free community group, the Tactical Empire community on Facebook. If you're, you know, wanting to level up and get into our group fitness model or our group plus our one-on-one -on -one accountability and customized coaching, that's where the inner circle is going to come into play. Our, our Instagram handles are on the YouTube video, uh, but find it in the show notes, uh, our, our social media and our, our private group or a free public group. But uh, go ahead and get in that, guys. If you have any questions, hit us up. We're here to serve. We're here to help you. We're looking forward to meeting you guys someday here soon. The Tactical Empire community on Facebook. Boom, there it was. Come on in. Ask whatever questions you want. Have a great day. See ya.